Welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Bad, and in today's video, we're back with XCOM Chimera Squad. Picking up right where we left off, choosing what thing we're gonna do. We have one free field team as well, which which we can drop anywhere. Right now, our security. So we have two, three, one, one, two, one, two, one, two. So it should probably be a finance field team. I'm gonna put it here too for whenever I need to bring down the unrest on this district because this one and the fringe are both pretty high. Hopefully we don't end up with something we have to do on both of them. We can use Dragnet to get the Illyrium from this also. Uh, it has a four day cooldown. We get 50% of whatever we wanna take from it. But I really don't need the Illyrium right now. So there's no point in using that. I, I wanna wait for something else that I want to get more. Venom rounds, strength rounds. We have one of all of those. I don't want to buy just the basic ones because they don't do too much more. He still has two days left in his training. So let's go ahead and do. We're going for the intel. Uh, the mercenaries surrendered without a city, without a fight. Three on PD said that without our presence, things might have gone the other way. Ooh, the scavenger market's here. Talk about anything. I'm around. Are you coming on to me? No, I, I mean, you rush into things in the field. I've seen that before. I know what it means. You think I have a death wish. I don't know. Do you? I rush in because I understand the concept of acceptable risk. Hmm, okay. Okay. But thanks for the vote of confidence. That'd, that'd be a weird way to flirt too, for, him to th for her to think that it's flirting. Of course, the first thing we're gonna get is our master crafted pistols because for some reason we just well not even for some reason. I just like uh I like blue blood and how much damage you can put out. Getting these master crafted pistols is just gonna increase that for him. Uh of course we shouldn't become too reliant. I almost got this motile inducer. Uh targets ally against two actions immediately does not affect the target's cooldowns. So for example, we left Axiom in a bad position. Someone had this, they could throw it to Axiom and then he'd be able to do whatever he needs to do to get out of where he was. But it was going to use too much of our intel. I didn't want to burn all of it immediately and be left with 10 intel. Um, Damn, we have to do this mission, but this one's also going to be pretty high. We don't have a quarantine deposit either. We do get an epic pistol from this, but I already have the one that I really won for Axiom. Not Axiom, wow. Or pet pet blue blue blood there we go oof ooh we oh, we do have space to put someone else in here and do spec ops she can get us she can get us more intel right now we're looking fine for um for finance or credits I could only think of what the field team name was but yeah we're kind of in a shitty spot right now whenever. When Zephyr finishes this, she's going to bring the unrest down by three and I might end up putting her right back in because we're going to be at five by the end of this. So shit. This one's going to take over anyways, but I think if it takes over, it's immediately going to go into the anarchy. But this one's going to bring down our this by two. This is a terrible position to be in. I should have pulled this down when I had the chance earlier, but I'm going to have to go for this one. Otherwise, we're going to be in the same situation when we get to the uh, angler point. So this is going to help us prevent that up there. And we're probably going to have to deal with some type of crisis event on the down the down one. What is it? The fringe down in the corner or the shipyard? I can't remember which. Did we just switch the team out at all? I don't think so. So let's make sure we have the enhanced. Yeah, we do have the enhanced. And we want to take the ceasefire bomb from you and give it to shelter. So I really don't care where shelter goes in a turn order. So him having that is just it's going to help out a little bit. But we're going right back into the next thing. I said right back into the next thing. Like I was going to start Secret a new video. Coil is relaying a coded signal. Secure it so we can trace the source. All right. She can hack in here. And I'll have her bring shelter with her with the ceasefire bomb. Then over here, I'll have Axiom lead with Claymore right behind. This means that she won't be able to scan, but I think that's okay because they'll be safer over here. I think these two generally have the least amount of health. Yeah, Claymore has armor and he has 11 health, but he also, he, oh, I thought he had more health than that. He's also lower on the team. I don't think I'll put him through any of his training. 
which I'll probably be doing soon since uh, he's glitching out quite a bit anyway, so I might as well take him out and let him train. Hopefully, I didn't just enter a room that had nobody with guns using a ceasefire bomb, which is supposed to disable weapons. All right, we have one dude who is hostile. So we're going to go for this shot. I was going to say if it misses, I'm probably not going to shoot him again. And I'm going to shoot at him again because he has a 70% chance to hit. So nobody wants to hit him is really what's happening here. Let's start spreading the damage out instead of going for that one thing over and over again. That's unconscious now. And let's see if you can take this out. No, and they're immune to poison also. That Andromeda didn't take a shot like it was supposed to, which it usually does up front. It looks like we have you to, to destroy this or protect it. There's our target. Covering. We are ready for them. Uh, it's looking like a destroy. Go ahead and use smash. Which way is going to give us the most cover? Being right here is going to give us the most cover. Okay. Now the run is probably going to go for either shelter or patchwork. Oh, forgot about that. Still missed. Interesting. Didn't expect him to run past shelter to go for that there. We move. And you could drop an explosion explosive in here. All right. Yeah, let's do that. Then let's go for what's the chance? 62% there. And when is patchwork's time? Because once this thing breaks, we'll be able to hack it. Or I can get it to fall back with the sticky bomb, which sticky I think bomb. I want to do instead. Ow. Because it is pretty far away, so I won't be able to do a melee attack. It would have to shoot. Damn, it took one step and blew up. That armor has a weak point. That's some bullshit. Although I think I'd rather go for just a swing on us. It did break our cover. But okay. she was rooted anyways, it looked like. That or they're both rooted now. That almost took out that crystalline. Uh, you can shock at that. I shocked this crystal. It's not going to hit anything else. What do you, what do you have? The chances to shoot that is 90 and 72 here. I should just go for the crystal though. Cause it's going to be next in the turn. And I want to guarantee that I take it out. So I'll just use this. Get it out of the turn order. So we have to deal with two things instead of three all at once. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything. It's bullshit how they let him throw these things across the map. You stop that? I'm out already? Yeah. Who's next in the turn? Number two? push the purifier back down some more but the andromeda is going to come up before the uh that thing i'll we'll put acid in this doorway because for now we don't need to be going in there or at least we're not trying to and we'll knock you down in the turn order give you something to think about i don't you're not getting in its head though so i don't know about that one Yeah, okay, so that kept that thing from trying to come in here. I forgot about that explosive explosive. It didn't hit bone. It's all right. You can manage. We can use smash right here from this angle. Get him out of the fire, but that does leave him out in the open. Hostel isn't moving. That's danger for us. Fire is overtaking my position. Move. Move now. Let me get my turn. Yeah. We can put him right here. Shifting my position. And we can't just extinguish the fire on him. We'll use team up and we'll use team up with shelter. And we use team up on Axiom. Damn, Axiom has to heal himself. Did Axiom just take a turn? Yeah, I have Axiom. Uh, yeah, I'll use team up on Axiom. 
that way he can heal himself and then do something else because he will probably die if we don't have him do anything but for the shot here now axiom can heal himself himself it says axiom right has that thing glowing under axiom this how it works I don't know why it still wants him. This is some bullshit. Axiom's definitely coming off the team after this. I can't keep playing with him if he's just gonna be glitching out. Like I needed him to heal himself so he wouldn't die. Uh, I can't go for the reprogram here. I knew it was a low chance. That's why I went ahead and shot it anyways. What else can you try and do? You can shock this thing. And I can use Shelter's turn to take out that Andromeda. Painful. Oh, he's the only one who said anything vaguely the positive about off. it. We pay the cost. He has an acid burn now. Or she does, I guess. I don't know what she's doing in her turn. She really just ran into the acid and stopped standing stopped while standing in it. You can reload. I have to reload. And take this set hundred percent. Fire weapon? At the end drop. Fire away. Target gone. This thing now has an acid burn also. Don't know why that fell apart. He used rapid fire here. We have a 76% chance to hit. With the second shot it should kill. There we go. Now we just have to deal with this Ronin who keeps running in and out. We could try and use Smash. The only issue it is if it doesn't apply to effect, it's probably gonna take out uh, Axiom. Oh, never mind. I uh, forgot that Axiom wasn't the last person to go. Now it doesn't really matter if we have cover or not because this dude uh, is melee, so wh whoever he wants to attack is running right up to anyways. 97% chance to hit, 33% chance to crit. Cool. Uh, protect the propaganda relay, even though we just came here to get rid of everybody in here. Doesn't make sense. Anyways, Shelter can move into here. I thought we had more nano med kits, which I'm pretty sure Patchwork has has it. You can overwatch in this direction. Need a fresh clip. You can reload first. Ammunition topped off. And you can move to this side. That way you have cover if the case they go to the opposite wall. You'll move over to here. That there's an entrance right next to us. I did not see that right there. You can overwatch. You can watch this door. I feel like this one's gonna be more over here than there is gonna be right there. And at this point, this is where that ability would have been nice to have. You can do it to yourself or you can give it to Axiom. I'll fix you up. Cool six health and then i guess overwatch right like in like i can't think of because i don't want to just do it on this i get i'll do it on these two i guess damn i must have knew we didn't uh overwatch this door for real to send all three of them through this one entrance yeah they sent only three in and all three came in right next to us who's first what we'll just shoot you? Fire weapon. Got a good chance to hit anyways. Who's next? Well, if I do that, we might blow up the thing too. That does give me time to move you into a better position. I think this is a little better. Be careful. You can fire your weapon at the uh, Android. We don't need him priming his explosive, especially since I just grouped Claymore up with them also. If he blew up next to Axiom, for example, that would be able to uh 
Heal a lot of damage to everybody. Now you can overwatch, I guess, in this direction. I don't I don't think they're gonna send everybody through this door again. If they do, then it's definitely bullshit. Yeah, it's definitely bullshit. That does make sense since in the last episode we missed some 97% chances to hit. Finding the flank. Like I'm okay with an 80% chance to miss, but these 91s don't make sense. This we'll should take out right here. Friends. Thought that was a miss. You thought it was a miss? This man is not confident in himself. It sounds like he got a scar already. Ooh, this is not going to be good now. Don't like the feel of that. Keep All going. Right. You can do this. You smash on not you, but you. Crash in the party. Hoping for a, shut, a shutdown, yeah. That's some tough armor. Skips that turn. Prepared. Go for a reprogram on not the number one, but the number four. If we can reprogram this, we can move it literally anywhere else. And that'll keep us safe from uh, its explosives. And then we'll have you overwatch. We'll have you overwatch over here again. We'll see if the game is really on bullshit. Counting on you. It doesn't even make sense on why they all come through the same entrance. We, we don't come through. Well, usually, I guess we don't come through on the same entrance. But, uh. Still doesn't make sense. 92. We'll just take anything that we can hit. One less to worry about. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. We'll drop this explosion in the doorway. And then we'll use the sticky grenade. We'll use the sticky grenade on them because it might kill them if it goes when it goes off. Yep. Can we use subdue with them? We'll give this bitch a taste of their own medicine. I'm tired of these holes always blowing up in my face. Doesn't matter, you're just gonna use smash again right here. It should hit. Even if it doesn't though, we can just use someone else to subdue, which is a guaranteed hit. Nothing only had one health. Trust in your base pair. Together you will find salvation. You are but a link in the chain and never forget your place. And leash no petty vengeance upon the insolent beast. You are not worthy to hold the whip. From the sacred core of pamphlet, there will be there will our chain. Uh, that's a weird statement. All right, three, three, five, or three, one, five, four. That's not. I mean, this it's definitely getting pretty bad. We did get three promotions there. Why do you fight with such an inferior weapon? Why do I choose precision over the sloppiness of say? I think we talked about this one already and heard them talking. Only eighteen minutes though. I have time to deal with this situation right here. First, we should do these promotions, though. I barely know it's there when you're fired. We should be getting near the end of this whole issue with Sacred Coil. Rank Principal has unlocked uh, Capacitor Discharge. So this is like the storm thing, right? Patrick sends a gremlin to a location where it emits a substantial electron electrical discharge, damaging and potentially stunning all nearby units. Robotic units take more damage when used per mission. Okay. Uh, who else got one? Axiom has one. Uh, promotes rain of the Adrenal Surge. So this is where you can use Cycle a whole bunch and then go and use Smash. And then we have Claymore. Uh, upgrade Shrapnel Bomb to deal more damage through cover or impending doom. Upgrade Shrapnel Bomb to immediately rupture targets within the blast radius upon landing. Uh, deal more damage through cover. I, I like this one last time, especially with the rupture, allowing us to deal more damage to the enemy as a whole. So I think that was pretty powerful for us. Is that everybody? I think so. You finished the quick reload training, and now you can go right back in and get your basic conditioning to get more health. You brought down the city anarchy. Uh, 
I don't think Zephyr can do this one. No, I want this one. Zephyr. Yeah, Zephyr cannot do that one. We could get her to get us one free field team. Yeah, we'll do that. Zephyr and Terminal are both still working with their scars. I don't, bring, uh, don't want to bring Axiom off the team. I did talk about this because I want to see that ability that he has. If I use Dragnet here, it should get rid of the... Yeah, I got rid of that. So I have to use that not for the Anarchy, but for the... Or not for the, the, the Supply, but for the City Unrest. And once I finish this mission, we're going to be able to do that one in the next one. So I have 10 minutes to finish this. It should only... Oh, This might take a while. It's probably going to be a longer episode then. This with shots on enemy will crit. Uh, no, I'll repel points. So if Claymore go through here and Axiom go through here, make sure to dodge for one round. That'll be pat our shelter, I mean. And then we'll give Patchwork, patchwork this one. Moving and th that means her shot is going to stun. The way that they did her legs too are pretty cool. It doesn't seem so simple as like, or not so simple, but it doesn't seem like something basic. It does seem like it's semi-robotic at least. And we have a shit ton of people in here. Our shot's gonna crit, so let's see what we can hit that has a decent amount of health. We have a 92% chance to hit here. Next up is him. If he hits that, he might be able to kill it. Five to seven damage. Okay, he created it too anyways. Let's go for this shot here. Cool. Now, who can you see? There's someone new here. I can take a shot. Oh, I forgot all about that. I want to take out the guardian as soon as possible so it can't give a shield to anyone. Either way, we're going to have to get shot at by something, but we did get shot at by the turret, which did miss its shot, so it wasn't too much of a problem. We have to clear the facilities to prevent and prevent enemies from escaping. And they're trying to escape to right there. All right, first up in the turn is going to be the number two thing. Can I drop a grenade on it? It looks like it should be hitting it, but I guess not. move down into here the mech has an angle on us the, the mech goes before patchwork we use the sticky grenade to get the mech to move from that point which shredded both of their armor too so that's pretty good they have marked claymore and shot okay i didn't know they can mark and shoot they're going for the exit. They're not going to make it all the way there. Who's next? The Andromeda is next, but what can we see? How far can I get this acid grenade? Yeah, see, this is bullshit. They, they were throwing dude, or the, the, the other dudes were throwing bombs all the way across the map. Meanwhile, I can't even, I can barely get halfway. So that's acid down. Your turn is ninth, so you already just went. You can push you back down in the turn order. And this way, we'll have to deal with the Andromeda. We only have to deal with the Andromeda and the mech. The Andromeda looks like it's going to go for uh, Claymore, especially with them being wide open. Go for Shelter? Oh, that makes more sense. That definitely makes more sense. All right. Use adrenal surge now. It's not a once permission thing. And just psych him all the way up and then run him in to do whatever I want him to do. He can reach somebody with smash. I can't I don't know if it's gonna be the turret or the Andromeda or what. Ready for action. Who wants some? Yeah, it looks like it's oh we can use it on him too. Alright, cool. Smash on them. You smash on them. Cracking cool. Skulls. 
All right. He jumped through the window just to walk through the wall a second later. And you, oh yeah, that's right. Okay. And then you smash on, who's number two? Go for a smash here. So with Axiom, then we'll be able to cover a lot more ground because we could use reprogram. Yeah. I'm trying to reprogram that. We could use his, his smash or we can use the adrenal sur charge surge. Then use go and use smash, right? And then after we use smash, we can use the running gun ability, dash somewhere else, and then take a shot or use smash from there. Actually, we won't be able to we won't be able to dash from there. Or we won't be able to use smash from there, but we will be able to take a shot. Now you can shoot at something. We got the turret on our side. The bruiser is number four now. Let's go for the Andromeda though. Cause that Andromeda, see she still did four damage. She might as well just shock you. It was a guaranteed four that way. Anyways, you can go for a shot on the, uh, not the turret that's on our side right now. Right here is safe. We're exposing ourselves to this other dude, the number three dude, but I'm banking on the turret being able to take it out. Let's go for a shot on the Andromeda. Yeah, now that we've raised our chances, this will be better hit. Or you just can you just miss it too. Shouldn't have even bothered moving you here. 61 to 37. I'll go for the 61 then. And we managed to break the Andromeda's shell now. interesting and he's still standing in acid so i'm just gonna scoot him over i guess if i use relocate with that bar with the andromeda it's gonna push him down in the turn order although i don't have an angle on them i us go for this shot i have a 100 percent chance it's clear line of fire and they have no cover so that should have been a 100 percent chance no matter what go for a smash here we managed to shut him down and then you, Patrick, can just shock them. That's the end for this encounter. Yeah, this is definitely gonna go longer. All right, I guess that helps. It just killed the thing that you didn't manage to kill because you seem to roll only low damage. There we go. Yeah, the game seems to be glitching out a lot more since I have it been playing it, so I guess warm it up, which it shouldn't need to be before I actually get into it. Uh, last unit this entrance will enter overwatch uh, There are fewer aggressive enemies at this entrance Last unit this entrance has the weapon disabled patchwork axiom who has the ceasefire bomb now? I think shelter does Axiom and then claymore We'll send everybody through here because I don't want to take any unnecessary damage Would have been nice to have that whoa That man threw the threw that shit so hard he threw the camera with it too Looks like most of the stuff was immune to it, which again makes me wonder why I even use it. So I didn't even bring Cherub. Because he had his Phalanx ability, which was supposed to take all the shots, but it seems to frequently not work. So there's no point in me using it. And that would be the main reason to have him is to tank shots. If he's not tanking shots, I don't want him on the team. Axiom still teleporting around like the the fucking mystery that he is the thing's only alert they're gonna die on their turn i want to take out the guardian if i can which it looks like i managed to do the targeting system is fine because we'll be able to take our turn immediately and deal with that don't know why that thing's trying to leave it's literally an android designed to fight and we could go ahead and use this thing now. We can hit both of them with it. We have to clear this room anyways. I guess it caused that explosion too, which spread out a whole bunch more damage. Yeah, it almost killed that thing. Dang. She's immune to the mental effects because of uh, being right next. To why, is, why are so many people marked? Anyways, who's next? Number two. Can you use soul file on them? So we might as well. That'll push them back down in the turn. There's an Andromeda in here somewhere. 
We just did a lot right here, though. That Andromeda's way in the back. I don't think they're going to be able to do much on their turn. I'm going to use Psycho. And then running you smash on whichever one you can get to that's closest in the turn order. Which is this guy. And we'll put you on cover from this angle. Or from the turret and you should be in decent. Ooh. Let's see what you hit. The turret? Cool. Never mind, you missed. Not bad. That just would have been a bonus shot. Move again. No, it's gonna go for a shot on Axiom. I don't I don't understand this thing or how it goes through walls consistently. But on the next turn we are gonna have to have patchwork uh heal the next time we go through a breach. Need a fresh clip. And you need to reload, but first you reload you're not in the uh in the acid so you're okay to stay where you are i'll go for the number two dude fire weapon number two number two 99 chance to hit and we got that bullshit. all right the game just wants these people to escape uh, both of these things are trying to escape Don't know why we can't use subdue on this thing, but let's just shoot it and take it out of the turn order. We didn't move her off of that acid, but she's no longer marked, anyways. Uh, Patrick is finna die. Use relocate. Oh, we can't use relocate on any of them. Let's use relocate on axiom and then take a shot on the andromeda the andromeda should be trying to leave on its turn anyways so really we should just be throwing anything that we can at it whenever they escape they always go i, I don't know if it's to the last room or if it's uh to the, the room that's next to it i think it's usually the room that's last that's gonna be fire I don't know why it makes them path through the fire instead of just like walking around. I think it used to be where you could guide them a little bit, kind of, on how they walked. I remember watching someone play one of the older XCON games and they were doing that. Uh, don't know why she started bleeding out. I don't think it was her turn. I move to stabilize her though. And then you can move back over to here. So we're gonna have to use another Android, or I think that's the same one actually. I think it's still Apollo. Go ahead and use Smash again. It makes this thing come back like it's uh turning on when technically the suit was never turned off. It was just a dude falling asleep. Or not falling asleep, but being knocked out. And interesting how it has them set to be trying to leave, but he went for the shot instead of leaving. And who's next? I have Schultz move over to here, which should be a hundred percent chance to hit. I don't know how he didn't have any chance for a crit. I noticed it right before I shot, didn't actually mention it because whatever. Yeah, we still have zero percent chances to crit. Even though we definitely should since this thing has no cover from us. Still think it's bullshit on how uh Patrick went down. She shouldn't have taken any damage from that acid, I don't think. Bring in Apollo. Uh, enemies deal one plus one damage at the breach. It's a keypad door. Why have this thing lead through? Then shelter. No charges left on that ceasefire. Can he scream through this door? No. Then we'll have a robot lead through. A shit ton of people in here and this room is big as hell is that the dude with one yeah take that out go for them next 
I should have used Dazzle probably to prevent or disorientate a lot of people in here. All right, you did just miss a 99% chance. I don't expect you to hit shit else this entire playthrough, honestly. Do we have an alert defender? Not defender, guardian. I call them defenders because that's pretty much what they do. All right, let's just go ahead and try and take this bruiser out. Is that kill shelter? Creates a psionic domain, right? No, you're picking up the body. But we take you out, it's gonna kill that dude again, anyways. And they're trying to escape there. The, the number 13 and the number 2 dude are trying to escape first. Can you not see the number two dude? You should be able to. You move real recklessly with this thing. Move it up to here. It should increase our chance to hit it by at least a little bit. Yeah, 62. He shouldn't be able to make it. I was going to say. Necromancers usually try and bring in their spectral zombies on their first turn. Yep. We have a Ronin running around too, and they might clean up the whole team if we don't uh, stop them pretty soon. Especially with this temple surge thing that they always do. It never misses, and we're missing on 99%. Uh, who's trying to escape right now? The number 11 guy? Damn, they got four people going back to back. Can we take any of them out? All right, let's try and subdue. No, on them. I don't think I really mad. I don't think I really care about that one getting hit. I'm trying to use the. Uh, okay. Let's move you to right here. I have you use rapid fire on this Ronin and take it out. 100% chance to hit, so that's pretty good. And kill this thing and get it out of the way because it does way too much stuff. I'm moving. That was weird. Uh, I think that's still generally okay. This, yeah. Still too close. No ammo. Okay, who needs to heal? Shelter does need to heal, but I think he's okay-ish for now. We use running gun. Coming for you. You're like right next to this dude and just shoot at him. Oh yeah, your gun is disabled. All right, we did manage to stun him for its turn, so it won't get it get to go. Somehow this thing is oh, that's not the spectral zombie. That's just a normal dude. Like we still have team up available to us also. When I didn't use team up on shelter because then he's not in a good spot at all. And who's trying to leave right now? The number three dude? Yeah. Okay, we take that guy out. We just want to get someone else new who's trying to leave though. And push the necromancer down. I don't think the spectral zombies are gonna go at the same time as him always. I should have moved him. I don't know why I didn't move shelter. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. You want for that number two? That's weird. 
That should be immune to fire. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you can burn this metal, that don't make any sense. Now we could force the the necromancer to fall back. This explosion should kill it. Sticky bomb out. Then Andromeda is still right in Shelter's face though. And they just dropped three of their teammates now. Who's it gonna change to be trying to leave though? I was gonna have Axiom heal him on this next turn, but I wasn't able to get that off before it just killed him. No, I have no reason to do that. I just want to use Smash twice. Better move to stabilize. And you can use Smash on the Andromeda because it's taking no damage. Ooh, knocked it unconscious immediately. That leaves it in its suit too. And then you turn around and take them out. So that just he just cleaned that up. His damn was that shitty. Didn't know he could actually just knock him unconscious though. Never saw it in the last playthrough. Move him up to here. We can just shoot at either one of these things. You have a chance to break this thing on your shot. Just go for this one first. Or you just miss. I don't think our people can really aim. That's what's happening here now. I'd say you have good enough cover. I don't know if it's actually good cover or the range is just gonna be the thing. This dude's gonna try and leave now. I was gonna say, even if they make it out, it's not really gonna be a problem because we won't lose the mission. Uh, your reload first. I don't forget to do that. We can just move up, right? I can't use smash because I won't make it to where I'm trying to get to. Uh, gain rage increases the chance of this to dis to disable with melee attack, but risk going berserk. Have a reload here then. At least he has cover from uh, the enemy now. I don't see why that's only a 38% chance, but oh well. Looks like we can get right here without activating that overwatch. And now you can go for a shot. It's still only 37. They don't got any cover. I guess they do have high cover from this, uh, this range, from this angle. Try and take this thing out then. That we can move everybody else up. Not having to worry about it. We might actually escape because we can't land a shot on him. Traversing. Yeah, this is this is a penalty because of range. Oh, you land a 28% but can't land a 99. Some bullshit. The violence is over, but the district will need time to recover, keeping unrest to a minimum will keep this kind of thing kind of fighting off the streets. Oof. Urban news to house us in the fringes, cramped old world buildings. Then the war ended. Advent went to detention camps and everyone in the fringe moved to Advent, now vacated. Highland Square homes. So where did all the former Advent go to when the camps let them out? You guessed it, the same buildings they forced us to live in during the occupation. Instead of Bucktown, a local guide to City 31. No cure for the fade. They're using a public health crisis to increase their recruitment. Put an end to their lies. Show City 31 what they really are. 
Killers, fear mongers, and opportunists. Ooh. What's wrong? Not enjoying the office picnic? It's fine, but there's nothing I can eat. Not even my famous egg salad? Chicken eggs are poison to sectoids. Why not try a not dog? Do you mean hot dog? Hot dogs are also poison. No, 